name is Tim Reese. I'm a saxophonist, and I'm playing today this great instrument called the Virtuoso by R.S. Berkeley. And again, if you want to visit the website to check out more about this instrument, it's www.rsberkeley.com, and that's B-E-R-K-E-L-E-Y. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about tonguing, uh, maybe a little bit of the difference between classical and jazz and even rock tonguing. So, and there's many different ways of tonguing, and I'm not the person that tongues tip to tip, and I know that a lot of musicians do that. So my tongue, I, tip, I tongue a little bit, like, a little bit back from the tip on the tip of the reed. So, as you can imagine, and one thing to understand about tonguing, it's not so much that your tongue is hitting the reed, whereas the tongue is actually being released from the reed. So what happens is that you're playing, uh, as, if, as though you were playing a note, and then put the tongue on the reed, and then take the tongue off the reed. But don't stop the air. So the air is moving the entire time, so that your tongue is acting as though it's just turning the water faucet on and off, but the pressure is still there. So, so I'm not stopping the air. You don't want to re, re tongue and re or re push the air out at the same time. So what I'll do is I'm going to give you an example of. You'll hear me playing a little bit of the air on the sides of my mouthpiece, which I'm not gonna, I don't normally do, but you'll get the idea that the air is still going. Okay, we don't want to let that air escape, but just so they get the idea. So the so when I'm tonguing, it's really not tonguing; it's actually releasing. Right. So that was a release of a tongue. So rather than attacking the reed, you're pulling back from the reed. So, I'm not the fastest tonguer, but I'm gradually started eighth notes, quarter notes, triplets, sixteenths. So similar to what we were doing earlier um, with um, the vibrato, you can also use a metronome for this as well. And then you can also get into double tonguing if you want at some point, which is not so easy and I'm not great at it, but... And tonguing, think, well, before we get to double tonguing, let's talk about the different ways of tonguing legato, which is, let's say it's a la sound. La, 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 la. Or da, 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 da. As opposed to a staccato sound, t -t 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 -t, more, maybe more of a TUT sound. Ta. Where you're coming very quickly back off the reed and, and coming right back on with ta. Whereas the da sound, that's what I would do maybe more for jazz. I would ju I, you can play with the reed a little bit and come off it and let, let the sound happen. So I'm not using a whole lot of staccato. Whereas if I'm playing more of a classical piece, I would, I maybe would. Okay, 